I'm on the KTM, I've got a shout like a motherfucker because I can't even hear myself. I honestly forget how loud this thing is. Fucking is so goddamn loud. Oh, it's amazing. So as promised, I'm doing the, the, the Q&A on the KTM because I love this bike so goddamn much. Um, uh, <laughs> so... Uh, about the Q&A uh, I did <laughs> I did have the questions there They're not there anymore So we're going to have to do a Yui And uh, try, <laughs> try and find these questions <laughs> uh, uh, There they are YOLO <laughs> It's not my day today don't run over my questions. You run over my questions. <laughs> my questions. <laughs> my breath now. Damn this bike, man. So yeah, Q and A questions. We got questions from Callum, Sarah, uh, Ari, Sarah, Goose, Connor, X, Slayer, Sebastian. I think. If I fuck at your name, I'm really sorry. Let's see if this paper will stay on this time. Let's fucking hope it does. You ready for pure sound here? Pure beauty. Oh. 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 Orgasmic. Orgasmanims and orgasms. Organisms. Why is it so difficult? Just go backwards. So I can turn around. Hi, yay, yay. Oh, I wish I had longer legs. This is a. Uh, damn, I forget. The turning circle is not as good as the Groms. Come on, please. Please. Yes, come on. Oh, that was tight. Like your mama. Mama. Okay, we're going. Stay on, Mr. Paper. Okay, so first question from Callum O'Leary. What's your dream bike and why? Actually. Callum, Harry, and Sarah all ask what my most favorite bike or dream bike is and why. So thank you for your questions, guys. This has definitely changed and will always change, I think. I don't think I will have one dream bike. You probably want me to say, you know, my KTM or my Grom or my pit bike. It's none of them. I love the bikes so much, that's why I bought them. But they're not my favourite bike or my dream bike. Because at my age, you're obviously restricted to what bikes you can have. But if I could pick any single bike in the world, if you had asked me last year, 110%, I would have said the BMW S1000 Double R. I thought that bike was amazing. I thought it was, you know, the best possible bike you can have. It was ridiculous, that bike. And the H2 came out, and I was like, holy fucking shit. That bike looks insane. But then if I have to think, I've lost it again. For fuck's sake, this, this isn't gonna work. I got thinking logically and thought, for where I live, if I've got a 1000cc bike, I'm just never gonna use the full power of it, am I? Where are you? There it is, it's there. I see it. Oh, uh, uh, no. You Run over my piece of paper! That looks like somewhere I need to hit the Grom. Will you fuck off, Rock? Ugh. Ugh. Don't mind me, I'm... You run over my piece of paper! Look at this! This has got battered. Ay, ay, ay. 
Yeah, there's definitely someone I need to take the Grom. <laughs> Alright, yeah, so Callum O'Leary, what is your dream bike? Harry Ains, what is your favourite bike ever? And Sarah Barton, if I fuck it your name, I'm really sorry guys. What is your favourite bike ever? So... If I had to think logically about it, I don't see the point in a thousand for where I live. I go into town quite a lot and commute, so... It's hard to say. I would love either a BMW S1000 RR or the BMW, a BMW S1000 Single R. I think those two bikes, at the moment, are the best possible bikes you can get. The H2 is just too ridiculous, like, for where I live anyway. Hmm, I think it would have to honestly be the S1000 RR. I think that bike's insane, I absolutely love that bike, I adore it. Maybe a bit pointless uh, for where I live, but that is my favourite bike, I can't get over that bike. For X Forces and Goose Gaming, who asked, where was this? Uh, uh, this is the middle of nowhere, but uh, you weren't asking that. You were asking for where I do the the pit bike videos. No, I can't actually tell you that because that's my little secret location, and I don't want a lot of people around there because uh, it may piss off the person that owns that actual place. So I try and keep it keep it on the lowdown, basically. So I do apologise that I can't let you know that. But let's answer the next question, which is from Connor Jeffries, I think that is. What made you start riding bikes? This thing. I wanted... So I used to ride bikes quite a lot. I used to do BMX, I used to go mountain biking. Um, I definitely grew up a, like, as a kid who were riding pedal bikes, you know. This is going to be fun. What I'm going to do is edit. Because I'm nice. See how nice I am. I used to commute uh, on my pedal bike to work when I was like 15, 16, I had a job. And then, you know, I, other friends started getting scooters and things, and I always wanted the, the Jalera DNA 50cc, you know, it looked like a, a bigger bike and I wanted that. My parents didn't mind, ooh, don't break. My parents didn't mind too much uh, about bikes, my dad used to have a bike. Uh, yeah, I don't know where I'm going, it's going to say. Uh, he used to have a bike, so he was, you know, they they didn't, well, they weren't too bad with uh, with me getting a bike. So anyway, in the end, they uh, for my birthday they bought me a 50cc scooter. I it wasn't what I wanted, obviously. I wanted the the DNA, but I was thankful because not a lot of people actually have a bully scooter or just a motorcycle bought for them so I was so thankful for that so that got me starting to ride I started riding that but I, I, I quickly kind of just went off the, the bike because I didn't feel cool on it I, I know that sounds sad but it wasn't what I wanted I didn't feel cool on it and I just started not using it as much as I should have. Tunnel. A uh, couple of, uh, probably about six months later, I'm at college at this point now, and I have, I have two friends, they both ride bikes, they've both got 125s. And I'm like, uh, I start getting into bikes more and more, and I see this beaut. I saw the KTM Duke and I was like, I need that. I, it was just like, a jaw-dropping moment when I saw this thing, I was like, wow, that, <laughs> I set off the car alarm, whoopsie, <laughs> uh, sorry, what's this, uh, I saw that thing, and I was just like, god damn, I need that, never go up that lane, by the way, it's pointless, <laughs> I went out there with a the grom, and it just ended up being the gate right at the end, and I was like, fuck, <sighs> trip, I worked hard, got the money up, blah, 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 blah and I bought this thing, and ever since I've been riding this thing and it's, uh, uh, my bike life has just taken off. It's all I ever think about is bikes, non-stop. I think about what bike I'm going to get next. I think about, you know, what I could add to a bike. I, I'm thinking, I'm just always looking at bikes. It's stupid. And I don't like keep changing gears. I just keep changing into random gears. Um, 
So yeah, it was really the KTM Duke that got me into bikes, or riding, uh, in general. Uh, you know, I started watching, uh, I started searching up the KTM, I sort of started watching videos. The first person I started watching that actually got me into motor vlogs was, um, Graham XD, he had a KTM, he st I started watching him, I got into the whole bike motor vlogging shit, and I was just like, wow, I never knew this existed, it's like a whole underground, you know, family of hooligans and shit, that I just discovered, I was like, I need this in my life, and yeah, that's pretty much it, that really got me into uh, to making videos, uh, and riding in general, basically. do a meet up and what bike is this so when you say what bike is this I'm guessing you're talking about the pit bike because that was the video with the questions in the uh, the pit bike is a Welsh pit bike 125 uh, blah 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 hello up on screen because I can't remember exactly um, and it's an absolute beast is it a beast of a bike that thing dish 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 is fun I love waiting so very much Lovely. Would I ever do a meetup? Now, I was planning on doing a meetup. I've just got to find the right time to do it. Uh, I wanted to do it in the summertime, uh, but unfortunately, I've had a lot of work to do. So I've been ridiculously busy, and I know that's an excuse for almost every YouTuber that uses. But you, you do get like ridiculously busy with everything. But I've just never planned a meetup. So I will probably do one closer to Christmas time because I know I get quite a, a range of viewers age kind of thing so I want to try and get as many people as there and I can. I have thought about how to do it you know I'd have my friend in the front me at the back you know so we can get as many riders as we can because I know some of, me, some of you guys you ride 50 suit, 50 cc scooters that are still restricted uh, which is absolutely fine you know if you go 30 then I'll be at the back so I'll be going 30 with you you know it doesn't bother me whatsoever we'll probably head up to Cheddar or something so it, it would be an awesome day and I, I definitely need to do one so I do plan on doing one in the near future so don't you worry you little pretty fast Okay, you happy now? He's on this farm, he's playing Pokemon Go, he found big Pokemon, he found Pikachu. Ah, uh, that sounded nice. Uh, Slayer Gaming, thank you very much. And X-Forces, who asked, would I ever do a meetup? Thank you for your question. Last one is from Sebastian. Um, Sebastian... Mlanervik Mlanervik He says do more KTM So now I have the Grom You know, I'm never gonna get rid of this Well, eventually I will When I get a bigger bike, but Like, that won't happen until December time, because I'm still insured on this, I'm insured on the Grom And I have the pit bike I'm selling the pit bike Because I don't need it anymore Um Whoa Hell yeah, we're going up there. Um, yeah, go for it. <laughs> Damn, Daniel. <laughs> but man. Damn. Damn! I'm not going to get rid of the KTM till December time because that's still when I'm short on it. By then, I should have passed my uh, mod two. <laughs> oh fucking hell! <laughs> and well, <laughs> I didn't see that there. <laughs> 
Oh, that was close. Hey guys, you don't have to worry. I will be riding this and the Grom. Um, they're both amazing bikes, but I use them for completely different things. So, I do still ride both of them. So you have nothing to worry about. I know the KTM started off my channel. And it is a fucking amazing bike. So, I know how much you guys love this bike. I love it just as much. Probably even more than you guys do. This means so much to me. I'm still out of breath. But yeah, guys. Thank you all so Oh, fuck me. Thank you all guys. Thank you guys so much for all the support and love. I'm almost, by the time I'm recording this, I'm almost at a thousand. Hopefully when I upload it, I'll be at 1,000 subs. Which, which is absolutely amazing. I keep one, just thinking every day, I'm just like, 1,000 subs. If I had a thousand people in front of me right now, how ridiculous that would be. And it blows my mind. I know you get big YouTubers with hundreds of millions, well not hundreds of millions, but millions of subs. Which, that's just stupid relictus. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm going to go home. I'm going to make a lot of noise in this tunnel and scare all the fish. <laughs> um, and yeah. Peace, I guess. Ah, oh, the echo. one of those days. It is one of those days.